Well, you were also in college and Fitz, won a Fitzgibbon Cup with Mikey Beavins, uh, if I remember correctly. What do you think that, like, this is two forwards, obviously, himself and Liam Cahill. They have Tony Brown now involved as well, who obviously played in several different positions. What do you see? I'll just give you what I see and then tell me what you see as mm. well. I'm looking at this Waterford team. Obviously, the, the hard running straight up the middle, that's something that everyone can see. And obviously, they've got scorers everywhere. But it's the fact that he's taken lads who, is Patrick Kern going to fulfill his talent? And a couple of years there, he wasn't really, you know, we weren't seeing that much of him. Stephen Bennett, unused sub, I think, in the 2017 All-Ireland. Conor Gleeson had a couple of up and down seasons, good in 2017. But all these, these lads are starting to fulfill their promise now. And then lads like Neil Montgomery, Darrell Lyons, Shane McNulty, unheralded sort of players. They're becoming really good kind of cogs in here. So to me, it's like these players are being upskilled, upcoached, whatever way you want to look at it. And he's getting the most out of them, whereas you couldn't say that about every county. No, I, I, but I think I, you hit the nail on the head there. The talent was there as regards. You go back to 13 and you had Patrick Kern and Stephen Bennett, probably the top th two minors in the country playing the game at the time. And you're, you're wondering why they weren't fulfilling that. But like, I, I think they're like, go back to, I suppose, what, what you were saying there about Mikey and Liam. Like, they're, Liam is, you know, they're very clever men. Like, you know, they're, 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 they really kind of go after, I suppose, yes, that passion. Yes, the, all, all, all the things that you associate with, I suppose, with their playing career. But Mikey was a very kind of uh, technically good hurler. You know, he cut probably his 10 county medals with, with Tumivara. Really good stick man, one Fitzgibbons, top quality player, but very strategic, I'd say, in like in his approach to, to training. Like the, the way they're working the ball out, and I just look looking at it from the league final in the last couple of games, I think that the, they're short puckouts to go to Gleeson, to go to Tuberka, to go to Fagan, and, and they're able to work the ball. They're scoring, I don't know, I think it was 210 on their, uh, over, over the last two games, just on that ability to, to to work the ball out really, really quickly before a defence can get set up under the ball. And like Cork were, obviously, with Mark Coleman dropping, they were waiting for the ball to to, to go back to, to that area. But Waterford just simply too much power, too much pace, but huge amount of strategy. And that comes from the coaching, I think, of of Mikey. Their, their, their stick passing, their, their athleticism, they're they're like that. They're, Liam was a very kind of intense player, very committed, very uh, you know, really kind of on the edge all the time. And like he's bringing all that to to to, to bear now in, in a management capacity. But like I just, it's a, it's a really exciting time for for Watford hurling at the moment. And I just, it's a uh, it's a uh, yeah, Ginny Mac. They're 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 they blew Cork out of the water without Leeson, without Jamie Barn. Uh, I think just they, 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 they look really good at the moment, but I think Liam kind of after the match, his, his words were were telling, like this is again the league. This gives us momentum, yes, but it's all about what happens in two weeks' time, and that's the that's the really exciting bit for for everybody.